بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احبتي في الله i wanted to remind myself and the believers to never give up hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter what trials what tribulations, what struggles you're going through, what personal problems you may have, what tests in your faith and in your iman that you may be having, never ever give up on Allah Azza wa Jal. And if you do not give up on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will not give up on you. Make toba to Allah Azza wa Jal often. Come close to Allah by dhikr as much as you're able to. Attaqullah mastata'atu. Fear Allah as much as you can. Many of our, us are faced with issues in our Iman, especially the new Muslim as they grow in their Islam. And I want to emphasize that we grow in our Iman, we grow in our Islam. That our Iman fluctuate as is the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah. Sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low. And as a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, they grew in Islam. They did not begin with all the commandments uh, from the Kitab Allah. Many things were not revealed yet. And those ahadith or those uh, statements and actions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it came in stages. The Quran was revealed in stages. Because man does not take things all at once or it will become a, a great burden for you. Listen to this ayah as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem Qul ya ibadi al-ladheena asrafu ala anfusihim la taqnutu min rahmatillah inna allaha yaghfir al-dhanuba jami'an Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem Say, so here Allah is commanding us, O oh my servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the most merciful. Allahu Akbar. Allah will forgive you. Yes, you drank something. Yes, you smoked something. Yes, you looked at something muharram. Yes, maybe you committed zina. All wicked sins. And that's not to belittle the sins. But you can come back to Allah. You can come back to Allah, Azza wa Jal. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem wa anibu li rabbikum wa aslimu luhu مِنْ قَبْلِ يَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمَ الْعَذَابِ ثُمَّ لَا تَنْصُرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem And repentance to your Lord or make repentance to your Lord and submit to Him before the punishment comes upon you then you will not be helped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ وَنْ يُشْرِكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرَ مَا دُونَ ذَلَكَ لَمَنْ يَشَاءَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Verily, Allah does not forgive that you commit shirk with Him, meaning that you worship others along with Him or besides Him. But He forgives other than that from whosoever He pleases. Meaning that if we die on the major shirk, uh, if we die on the major shirk, then we'll be in Jahannam forever. So die on Islam. O you who believe. Fear Allah as much as you can. It took Allah. Haqqatuqati. Fear Allah the full, with full taqwa and, and rev, uh, uh, reverence. Wala tumutunna illa wa antum muslimun. And do not die except as a believer. Do not die except as a Muslim. Now some of us will pay attention to this ayah and we'll practice, and we'll know we'll go up and down. Our Iman goes up and our Iman goes down. We'll have low moments, we'll fall into this, 
But those people who ride it out, who are patient, and continue to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and come back to Him after they've made sin, then Allah will turn those sins into good deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive them. And if they do this until the end for them, until certainty or death comes to them, then their reward is with Allah Azza wa Jal. Because they died as a mu'min or died as a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But those who gave up along this path, who surrendered to their desires, surrendered to the whims of their community, the people around them, who called them the kufr and shirk, the whims of their selves, or the shubahat, the things that they read, the things that tried to knock them and remove them from the civil law, from the path of Allah those people will have failed because they listened and they succumbed and then they were overtaken by their shubahat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us with patience. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in Surah Al-Asr that we all know? Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem wa al-asr inna l-insana la fi khusr إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاسُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاسُوا بِالصَّرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, swears by the time, verily by the time. Mankind is in a loss. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, all of mankind is in a loss. Or, this is how we would understand this verse. إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسُرِ Verily mankind is in a loss. That means all of us. And then Allah makes istithna. He makes the exception, subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except those who believe. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And they do righteous deeds. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالْحَقِّ And they call to the haq. They make da'wah to Allah. وَتَوَاسُوا بِالصَّرِ And then they're patient upon that path. They're patient and they exhort one another to patience. That's what it takes with our iman. It takes patience. Being a Muslim requires patience. Otherwise, it will be easy for everyone to get into Jannah. And as the Prophet ﷺ said in the authentic hadith, that the, our, the, uh, the desires surround Jahannam. Those things which we're inclined towards, those things we love to indulge in, they surround Jahannam. And the those difficult, those difficulties in righteousness, that surrounds Jannah. Because it requires striving, it requires patience. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we keep having the kareem. Ya ayu aladheena amanu asbiru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa attaqullaha la'allakum tuflihun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, oh you who believe. Ya ayu aladheena amanu. He's addressing the believers. This is for the mu'min. This is for the believers. This is for you, O oh Muslim. My Muslim brothers and sisters. This is for us. Ya Yuladina Amanu, you believe or you wouldn't even be listening to this. Ya Yuladina Amanu, O you who believe. Asbiru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa taqullah la'allakum tuflihun. Be patient. Be firm. And steadfast. And fear Allah in order that you will be successful. This is, this is what it's for the believer. Because it's not, to put it in street, game, uh, street terms, it's not a chump game. Islam calls for the man to be a man, to be a rajul. You're going to get weak, but you still, you got to come back firm. Be patient, because you're going to be harmed. Be firm. Be steadfast on the haq. Adhering to it. And keep your feet planted firm on the truth. Striving for the truth. Patience upon this path because it's a steep path. And it's not a path. You never give up on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never, ever give up on Allah azza wa jal. And taqullah as, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. And, what uh, تَقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِهُونَ That this, if you want the success, 
from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you will fear him. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ In order that you will, uh, you will have falah, that you will have success, and that success is Jannah, and that success is seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seeing his page, face, of the wajh of Allah Azza wa Jal. Ahabatifillah, how do we do this? It's easy to say patience. Patience to be away from sin. Patience to do the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Patience on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But also patience with your dua. Supplicate often to Allah. And that's why we're taking time out, if you have time, to listen to our series on studying the chapter by Imam al Nawawi, rahimahullah ta'ala in Riyadh Salihin, the chapter of praising and glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the general meaning of, of gratitude and patience, because it requires patience and we have to be grateful to Allah. But how can we show it? By being obedient to Allah. And how can we continue to, who should we rely on? Who should we tawakkal alayh? Tawakkal alayh. Tawakkal on Allah. Depend on Allah. Trust in Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem. And don't be arrogant. Let me show you how some of the people are arrogant. This is why we have to remind ourselves. Remind, I'm reminding myself and reminding my brothers and sisters. Don't be arrogant towards Allah Azza wa Jal. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al -kareem. Wa qala rabbukum mad'uni yas... Wa qala rabbukum mad'uni astajib lakum. Inna al-ladhini yastakhbiruna an ibadati, an ibadati, sayyid khununa jahannam al-dakhirin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem. And your Lord said, Supplicate to me, and I will answer you. Verily, those who are arrogant regarding my worship, meaning they're arrogant, they, re they turn away from worship, even neglecting to make dua and do righteous deeds is a type of arrogance in ibadah. Verily those who are arrogant in worshipping me, they will enter Jahannam, the hellfire. They will be in there humiliated. The Prophet said that supplication is ibadah. So supplicate often to Allah Azza wa Jal. Raising your hands, asking Him, begging Him for firmness on the Qur'an and to go back to the Qur'an and be upon the Qur'an and read the Qur'an. And to have firmness on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ask Allah. Because no one else, everyone can give you advice. But it's only going to be what you do in your relationship with Allah Azza wa Jal. Don't give up on Allah. You can give up on the people, but don't give up on Allah. Never. I don't care if you're in the gutter with a cup of wine in your hand and vomit all over yourself not to be a karamakum Allah, to be so uh, explicit. But you can come back to Allah. This person can come back to Allah. The people may condemn you. The people may try to turn away from you. The people may curse you. But you can come back to Allah. You still have action. And not only on top of that, Maybe you'll be better than them because maybe they will curse you and then Allah will change their status for their service. The Prophet wasallam said in the hadith, قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَإِنَّ أَهَدَكُمْ لِيَعْمَلُ بِعَمَلَ أَهْلَ الْجَنَّةِ حَتَّى مَا يُكُونَ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَهَا إِلَى ذِرَاعٍ فَيُسْبِكُ عَلَيْهِ الْكِتَابِ فَيَعْمَلَ بِأَهْلَ الْجَنَّةِ the Prophet وسلم, said, Verily one of you will do the deeds of the people of, Je of Jannah, of paradise, 
until what is between him and it is an arm span. Then what was written will overtake him. He will do the deeds of the fire and enter it. And verily one of you will do the deeds of the people of the hellfire. Until what until they are an arm span away from entering the hellfire, and then what was written will overtake them. They will do the deeds of the people of paradise and enter it. So no one is guaranteed. No one knows. But keep striving. Keep coming back to Allah. Keep coming back to Allah. Never give up on Allah Azzawajal. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Protect us from sharm in all of its form. From bid'ah, wa zandaka, wa kufr, wa shirk. And all of wa ilhad and all of those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is displeased with in nifaq. And may Allah bless us with ikhlas, with tawheed, with the bad al-sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.